Welcome to SeedWorld 360. Forget what you think you know about asparagus. In Canada, this unassuming green spear is quietly rewriting the rules of flavor, nutrition, and sustainability. Grown in the fertile soils of British Columbia, Ontario, and Quebec, Canadian asparagus thrives in a short, intense growing season, producing crisp, tender spears bursting with natural sweetness. It's not just a vegetable, it's a canvas. From quick sears to creamy soups, Canadian asparagus adds a fresh, vibrant pop to everything it touches. Join us as we delve into the amazing vegetable and the breeding efforts behind it, and why those efforts are jazzing up your plate. Cindy Rouette is an asparagus breeder at the Ontario-based Fox Seeds. After high school in her birth country of France, she embarked on a path to addressing the global challenges of food security. It was during this time that Cindy's fascination with plant breeding and genetics took root. At Fox Seeds, which has the exclusive rights to produce seed from the asparagus hybrids developed by the breeding program at the University of Guelph, Cindy's leadership in the field has become evident as she's worked hard to modernize the company's breeding pipeline to address the evolving needs of the industry. She says Canadian asparagus isn't just a vegetable, it's a long journey from seed to restaurant and home plate. Asparagus breeding is a very long process um, due to the perennial nature of the crop. So it can take up to 20 years between the time I make a cross to the time a variety is actually released commercially and we can find that variety um, in a restaurant. But today's breeders aren't just chasing bigger, stronger spears. They're chasing flavor, nutritional punch, health benefits, and yes, even asparagus that makes your taste buds sit up and take notice. Although not a lot of efforts have been put in breeding for flavor in green asparagus, this is now something that we are interested in bringing to the table. So how do we understand flavor in green asparagus? How do we understand consumers' liking of green asparagus? And how do we bring that into our breeding process? Stronger seeds, stronger crops. Introducing Tidal Grow Gen Boost. Germination and speed emergence can either make or break a crop. The faster you can get it out of the ground, the better. We're seeing Gen Boost literally boost existing seed treatments. This seed treatment is applied at such a low rate with incredible performance, it's a no brainer. Your seeds just got more muscle. Gen Boost. Breeders are already thinking ahead, designing asparagus for drought tolerance, disease resistance, and even robot-friendly harvesting. We are also facing a climate right now where um, labor is very costly. We have shortages in labor. So um, is robotization the next opportunity in asparagus and in that case should we start breeding for asparagus with maybe a tight architecture that works with robotization see it's all part of an effort to bring an age-old crop to the modern era asparagus has been wowing taste buds for thousands of years ancient egyptians prized it not just as food but as a delicacy worthy of temples and feasts the Greeks called it a divine gift, and the Romans loved it so much they even engineered asparagus fleets, fast boats dedicated to getting fresh spears of asparagus to the emperor's table as quickly as possible. Fast forward to the Middle Ages, and asparagus was mostly reserved for the wealthy, grown in monastery gardens and royal estates. By the 16th century, it had conquered Europe, popping up on French and Italian tables with flair. Across the Atlantic, Canadian farmers took the baton, turning asparagus into a modern agricultural marvel. Today, it's not just a springtime treat. It's a symbol of innovation, flavor, and health, bridging millennia of history with every crisp green spear. Irene Matisse is an Ontario-based farm-to-table advocate, food stylist, recipe developer, and food photographer. Asparagus has always held a special place in her heart. 
Yes, absolutely. Like spending time on the farm has given me a front row seat uh, and how these newer varieties, asparagus varieties are changing and what we cook and what we serve. Um, growers are excited about varieties that produce earlier in the season or have extended uh, harvest windows, which means chefs and home cooks get to work with fresher, uh, more consistent asparagus for larger stretches of the spring. According to Irene, today's asparagus is ready to elevate every dish it's used in. I've also noticed that the spears are often in uniform size and tenderness now, which makes prep work easier and helps dishes look more refined on the plate. It's a beautiful collaboration between field and kitchen. For me, anyways. <laughs> that, of course, is due to modern breeding efforts. As the asparagus now is holding its sweetness and more crisp in texture and longer and with better disease resistance, more of it makes it to the market when in great conditions and, of course, less waste. And for me, sustainability is huge, especially because I'm on the farm. So it's, it's a win-win for everyone, right? For chefs, for growers, for all of us. Of course, she still has some asks from today's asparagus breeders like Cindy. I love using the entire um, asparagus, but also another important thing, just from an aesthetic perspective, is I, for it to hold its color um, as well. Uh, and then, of course, when it's cooking, you want the key is the flavor, uh, the sweetness of it, you know, the grassy taste that makes asparagus feel like spring. Um, so flavor, holding its flavor for me is also... Uh, big and also amplifying those qualities while supporting growers with climate resist resilience, um, a productive plant, because um, that's definitely one of like a dream collaboration, right? From decades of careful breeding to vibrant, flavorful spears on your plate, Canadian asparagus isn't just a vegetable, it's a story of innovation, taste, and sustainability. So next time you cook or savor it, Know you're enjoying the best that field and kitchen can create together. <laughs>